Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have here my six TBR reading vlog books. These are all the books that I chose in my TBR game at the beginning of this month. And I have to read all six of these for this vlog to determine how I play my game at the beginning of February and to see if I can get a reward. I have put little prompts in here. I tried to keep them kind of generic and vague that they can really fit any book. Um, so essentially what's going to happen is every time I finish a book, I will draw another prompt. So in just a second, I am going to draw the prompt to decide what I start this video with. But let me first remind you what is on my TBR from the TBR game specifically. So first we've got the notebook. I know I'm like the only person in the world who's never read this or seen the movie. And I had started it a while back. I need to get back into it, but... I don't even remember where I left off, so I might have to start it over again, but I've got the notebook. I've got Escape from Mr. Limoncello's Library, which is like a middle grade at highest. Um, it very much is giving like guided reading room <laughs> level. So I am interested though, because apparently these kids are like invited to a library party, but it's like an escape room at the same time as a party. I have The Thorn by Beverly Lewis. I have never read a Beverly Lewis book, but I'm very interested to try this. Okay, and then I have The Wednesday Letter. Um, I've got The Harbinger 2. I loved the original Harbinger, so I am looking forward to getting back into this. This is like a narrative story of what biblical prophecy could mean, and I love books like that, so excited to get back into that and then we've got the last thing he told me which this is one that everyone seems to love at first and then they hate it in the end so i'm like why i'm concerned Ooh, scared but here we've got the little mug Let's go with this one The Longest. Okay, well, we'll start with The Longest Book by page numbers and then see where we go from there. I gotta figure out which one is the longest. So this one, okay, this one's 303 pages. It's really hard to do this without seeing the last <laughs> sentence. And 281. So, so far, this one's longer. This one's like 270-ish. What's in the back? What? That is so cool. Stop it right now. Look at this. The epilogue's in a letter. Can't wait to get to that. Okay. 260 pages on that one. So this one's still the longest. Okay, this one is like 340 pages, so this is actually longer than that like 280 one. 280-something pages. And then the notebook. 240-ish. So, The Thorn is actually the longest book, which I would not have thought this was the longest one. But I'm excited to get into this. Hopefully I like it. Oh, I'm nervous. The thing about it is whatever I rate these books, whether I DNF them and I don't rate them at all, or rate them a one or a five, whatever I rate these books is what my TBR game is gonna be for February. So no pressure at so all. So let's get into the thorn. Haven't done this in a minute, but guys, leave an emoji that reminds you of Amish things. I am enjoying the sister, like the main character's sister's storyline much better. I am fully zoned out when it's the main characters. Like I just read a chapter, I couldn't tell you a thing that happened in it. Um, and yet I could tell you everything that's going on in the sister's life. Like hers is so interesting. And then this other one is just boring. <laughs> so that's how this is going. You know you're struggling to focus when you have to put on like an Amish documentary in the background just so you can get the vibes because for right now this book isn't giving it. Um, 
like I said, I love the sister's story, but the main characters is boring and I am really struggling making decent progress, but I like already want to be done with this book because nothing is happening in the one character's storyline. And like hers is supposed to be the romance and I'm just bored. I'm, I'm like, can we move along please? Nothing interesting is going on. break to go ahead and wrap up my blind date with bookmas books because I need to have these ready in less than a week for the first video and last year I used neutrals but this year I'm using this like generic like mother's day <laughs> type bridal I think I yeah I got this for a wedding but like there is no other use other than like mother's day but I'm gonna go ahead and use it for blind date with bookmas so that it's kind of festive but not like straight up Christmas and then this paper I love but my family doesn't use it a whole lot even though it's christmas paper and so i was just thinking like that looks generic enough but christmasy enough to work for blind date with so let's get started before these books all attack me because they're falling I decided to go with all the same paper and then I'm just gonna put these stickers on with numbers um, and then that's my blind date. I would have kind of liked the alternating paper but there was exactly enough paper for these 11 books so I was like you know what I'm just gonna use up the paper and I don't regret it. I don't love that they're all the same pattern but it's fine it kind of adds the element of mystery. I don't know what's in any of these so I'm here for it. Just here to remind you don't forget to like this video if you are enjoying it it will make me feel so happy and help other people find this video and we're only on book one so you still got time but <laughs> i am enjoying this much more now the storylines have kind of converged enough that it's not like one's really boring and one's really interesting it's more they're all together now appreciate that it's much better thus far. This is turning out pretty well. It's definitely been interesting since the storylines converged. I don't have that much left and I'm really curious to see how this is going to wrap up. I do think this is like the first of a few books. Yeah, it says trilogy, so it probably is not going to wrap up in a neat little bow by the end, but I've definitely enjoyed it more than before. It's still not like a five stars or anything. I honestly don't even know if I'd read it for, but we'll see how it wraps up. Um, but it is really late. It's like 1230 at night and I really do need to go to sleep. I'm also just like, I want to know what happens and I'd like to finish this book and choose the next one. And I don't know. We'll see how much more I read tonight. it's way too early in the morning well late depends on how you look at it it's almost 2 a.m um and i just finished the thorn i think i'm gonna give it like 3.5 stars i haven't fully decided but i'm pretty sure that's what i'm leaning toward but i really want to go ahead and 
choose the next book. I put my glasses in here so I wouldn't lose them. But let's go ahead and see what I'll be reading next of the five books remaining. Go with this one. Mood read. I get to choose whatever I want. I would really like to get into The Harbinger too, so that's what I'm going to go with next. It's the next day so far. Mm, I'm up to chapter 10 and I have tabbed a few things, but overall... This really just seems kind of like the same thing as the first book, and I'm kind of disappointed. I'm frustrated because I really loved the first book. And there have been some snippets of new information in this one, but it's literally just a rehash of the first book. If I want to reread the first book, I will. It doesn't need to be a separate book. I'm not even halfway through. And it's frustrating because it's really good information, but like I've already read it. Okay, so you guys get to participate in book mail. This is from the book that I ordered in my blind date with Bookmas video. But I think it's gonna be really cute for Bookmas, hopefully. Hopefully it's not, you know, open door or anything cringy, but it sounds cute and it definitely goes along with tropes that I enjoy. So hopefully that'll be good. It's been several days. I have continued reading this book. Um, <laughs> been through a very difficult week. Filmed a completely different video started another one that I think I'm just not going to be finishing because I just am not in the mental space to do it and I still still have not finished this <laughs> I'm on the last chapter though thank goodness I will say I just read a very good chapter in the sense that it was very clearly like explaining the gospel of salvation and how we have a choice to choose life with god for all eternity and it's like well that really hits i feel like this could have been a novella it is super important content there is so much in here that's just like a rehash of the first book and i love the first book i didn't need to reread it in a second book like the new content could have been a novella not a 270 page book The whole book had been like the last two chapters this would have been five stars easily last chapters so good but i think this is like a 2.5 stars because i really struggled through the whole thing with the exception of those last two chapters and the things that i tabbed in here because there were some really good quotes and good new content it just didn't need to be this long and it didn't need to be a recap of the first book This is what my finger touched first. Camera's right over here. <laughs> What's it say? Most words in title. Okay, cool. Let me get the four books and we'll see how many words each title has. Well, it's not going to be the notebook, so I just left that one over there. But we've got the Wednesday letters, definitely shorter. And then we've got 
escape from Mr. Limoncello's library. Would you count Mr. as a word? I would. So that's five. And then the last thing he told me, that's six. So either way, whether you count Mr. as a word or not, this one has the most words in the title. I am so nervous to get into this one because people love it at the beginning and then they hate it. Mm. Okay. All right. Hey guys, it's been several days. I am bored with this. There is probably like zero chance that I am gonna get my rewards, sadly, just because of everything being derailed and it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So bored with this. I don't envision finishing it. I made decent progress, but like I couldn't tell you a single thing that's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the next prompt, choose the next book. Chances of me actually finishing this are slim to none, but I wanna at least try the other ones. So I'm gonna go with this one on the bottom because I could not see the writing on that one. Um, mood read. I get to pick whatever I want from the remaining three books. And I think I'm gonna go with, oh, should I do the Wednesday letters? I think I'm gonna go with this one just because it's a kid read, so it should be easier to get through, fingers crossed. Um, and then I'm gonna be like vetting it for a classroom reading or something, I don't know. I'm gonna pick up this and I gotta go get my car inspected. So that should be fun and entertaining. Either that or I'll just sit on my phone the whole time. I've definitely been in a reading slump. I hate to admit it, but it is the truth. Um, that is just the situation at the moment. It's just been, as you know, a very difficult week. And that is how life goes sometimes. So I just end up like staring at the page whenever I pick up that book. the place that wants to take all my money. And I would willingly give it, except for I don't have my shopping list.